of uh, transitions is something that I am thinking about and and uh, it's a non-concluded uh, um, uh, presentation because you know I am I have a lot of doubts about the concept. I have a lot of doubts about the use of the concept. I have a lot of doubts about the word transition itself. So this presentation is is more uh, in this sense. Uh, with a lot of questions and with a lot of, you know, ideas that I would like to leave here to the audience and uh, yeah, and continue to discussing about what is this idea of transition that the, how I see it and how Acción Ecológica is seeing this, this idea of transitions. So my, uh, yes, I, let me put my timing, sorry, if not, I, I am going to talk too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, um, now, Transition is like a fashionable word. Everybody's talking about transition. I mean, you can see the World Bank papers. They talk about green transition. The OECD, they talk about transition in development. The EU, of course, about the just transition with the European Green Deal. You have the ICAO, the International Association of Aviation, that talks about uh, transition to a green economy. Even they are thinking to enhance 700% the flights in the world in the next five years. And you have the IMF also talking about the economies in transition. And of course, Biden recently, uh, they talk also about this just transition for a sustainable growth and many other organizations. But in the, in the part of the civil society, let's say, I don't like the word civil society, but they say in the part of the organizations and social movements, of course, we are also talking about transition. For example, in, in Europe, in France, the CGT, the biggest uh, trade union organization, they talk about this just and effective, uh, effective efficace uh, in Spanish transition, La Via Campesina, about transition with no poisons, of course, with no the pesticides and uh, fertilizers, etc., and of course uh, these uh, regional organizations, El Pacto uh, del Sur. Uh, also, we talk about this a uh, radical and socio-ecological transition. But what we are, uh, and of course, I, I was seeing just yesterday that now in many universities exists the studies of transition studies. No, the studies of transition. So this is very fashionable word now, and everybody has it in their mouth. But what is clear is that uh, all of these organizations, institutions, movements, academia, etc., for sure, they are not talking about the same thing when they talk and refer to transition. Uh, even the use, even we use the same word. So this is why it's so important when we talk about this uh, transition that we have to, uh, to make a lot of questions. Okay, we agree to use that word. But first of all, we are going to talk about who is proposing which transition are we talking about, who leads this transition, with whom we are going to do the changes that uh, involve the transition, uh, about what, from where to where, how, which one, when we talk about transition. And of course, what are the consequences of the transition that we are talking about? And I think that this is very, very important before we continue as a social organizations, social movements, and even the, the critical academy to continue using that word. And um, of course, <laughs> power, you know, economical power, capitalism, etc., is trying to make us to think that everybody agrees about transition that we are talking about the same thing and everybody is going to join because that means a, a awareness, a consciousness of um, sustainability, of uh, ecological things, of some good things. But of course, even the consciousness and the awareness are completely different if we are talking about uh, from, from Acción Ecológica or from the World Bank or whatever. So, um, the main thing that they want that we think that transition is about is about energy. And of course, we know that transition is not only about energy, neither it is about to address climate change, but 
if we want to think, okay, let's talk about transition of ener energy transition, but let's understand what they understand of energy transition. For most of the capital and the power sectors, the power, I mean, power in, in the both sense, power as energy and power as economic power, uh, they, uh, they think that energy tr transition is a mere substitution, they said, substitution of fossil fuel energies with clean or renewable energies. But what we know and, and everything that we have been talking today and, and many people that is working on these energy issues, they know and we know that when they talk about this uh, mere uh, um, energy substitution in the matrix of energy, this is nothing to do with climate change, nothing to do with reduce the use of energy. And this is contrary to that, to maintain, to sustain the growth of the energy consum consumption in terms of the necessity of energy for more manufactured production, more industrial agriculture, more uh, you know, uh, um, um, cities uh, growth, et cetera. And what I am showing with this slide is exactly, is exactly this. They are not uh, slowing down the oil extraction. They are not slowing down the gas extraction, neither the coal, we know that. Even they say that they are going and they have to do it, but they are, don't. And more of, more of that, they are putting more sources of energy <laughs> that they used to call green to, uh, to feed more and more this energy necessity of capital. And I am not going to take more than 30 seconds in this. This is a very clear example in Ecuador they used to say, okay, we are going in an energy transition. We are going to build this uh, hydropower um, facility uh, by, uh, with a Chinese company, uh, with a debt involved with China. And this has nothing to do with escape from fossil fuel energies because to pay the debt, we have to extract more oil. And not only that, but the, the problem with this very bad build uh, hydropower um, dam is that it was so bad that they have that it has like more than 7,000 cracks and it's going to collapse. And not only that it's going to collapse, but the base of the hydropower now is collapsing and this causes an oil spill where more than 120,000 people affected in the Amazon. Other thing that we have to talk when uh, we think that what they are trying to convince us to show to to agree about transition is that we are talking about climate change because climate change, of course, is a very important and is a very important and huge crisis. <laughs> but transition transition has not nothing to do with, with this only. And what they are trying to say us is, is okay. What we are going to do is to have this green economy, and with green economy we are going to achieve the transition that, that we need to escape fossil fuels that we know that is not true. And we are going to face climate change, what is not true because green economy linked with climate change, what is done doing is to increase the problem of climate change. For example, in Ecuador, we have these two new uh, programs, the circular economy for all the, the, the industrial and, and commercial sectors in Ecuador. And we have, of course, uh, what they used to call the Ecuador Carbono Cero program in order that uh, they can sell the environmental services everywhere in order to say that we are going to fight climate, fighting climate change. And of course, all of these international, um, and I, I am not if I am allowing to say the bad word, but this is bullshit. <laughs> Carbon neutral, zero emissions, net zero, all of this that does, uh, has nothing to do with the uh, face climate change, but only with business around the climate crisis. And of course, has nothing to do with the real transition that we need to escape capitalism. And just going to finish because I have two minutes. And of course, this is also um, a justification no, for the capital sector to, uh, to um, cut jobs. Uh, to expand the, the smart agriculture um, because they are going to fight climate change. And of course, they are going to grab more and more land and they are going to give more and more power to the transnational conservation organizations. And of course, to expand technologies like blockchain, etc., to control the peoples and the territories. And as conclusion, what I want to say is that, okay, if we agree that we are going to talk about and use this word 
transition. We have to understand that there is not only one, there are thousands of transitions according to the peoples and the territories because the people, the ordinary people, if you go to an indigenous community here and you ask them about transition, they, they will never talk about what we are talking about. For them, transition is something that probably they say, okay, my transition is to go back to the past, no cancer in my territory, clean water. So I mean, transition is not only linear that goes to the future, also could go to the past and to recover the territories. So this means also a question of understand that transition must have an understanding from the plurinationality and the pluridiversity that exists in the territories and in the peoples. Plurina uh, transition has to do with democracy because who is going to decide? Sorry. Who is going to decide what is, what is transition? How, where? The same questions that I put in, in some slides before. So it's a question of democracy. It's like what the Jorge Espinosa said very clearly. And of course, transition has to do with the respect of rights of nature, because we cannot have an ecological and socio-ecological transition if you, we don't respect all the cycles, the function, the balances in nature. Also, transition has to do with sovereignty, economic, and from energy sovereignty, food sovereignty. Of course, transition has to do with gender issues because we cannot talk about transition if the spiral of violence against women and against nature too, because they are together, continues. So transition must finish with this uh, heteropatriarchal system that is capitalism and of course needs to talk uh, uh, with the women's organizations and the with the women, maybe not a women's organization, but with the women in society. And finally, a transition has to do most of all with justice and with preparations. Because now everybody's talking about, yes, let's talk about transition uh, regarding the post-pandemic recovering. But if we talk about post-pandemic, we are reducing the necessity that, of make changes to have a post-capitalist society. So they say, no, no, the question is the pandemic. So we have to make a transition in order to fight climate change and to recover the economy. But this has nothing to do with the real justice, with climate justice, with ecological debt, with the climate debt. And also that has nothing to do about the necessity of reparations, reparations uh, with, uh, with peoples, of course, and of course, the reparations with nature. So I think that, ah, just to say that this is, of course, 20 years ago, we already haven't been talking about transitions, maybe with, not with this word, but we wrote a book, Carlos Larrea was in this book, also Ecuador Post Petrolero. This was a transition book about a, an Ecuadorian post oil uh, society. Also um, the Yasunidos, when they, they, they were proposing a living oil under, underground in the Yasuni as the first step, to a transition to a post oil civilization. And of course, a woman and, and other initiatives like La Clinic Ambiental that works on, on reparation. And of course, the indigenous peoples like Sarayaku and the Causa Isacha. So this is also a, a transition. I mean, why to, to, to eliminate 20 years of resistance and the struggles and, and say, okay, now we are going to start to build something called transition. So we have not to forget the history of uh, resistance and the history of the struggles of the peoples and the proposals from the organizations. And uh, that's it. And uh, thank you very much. And I am going to show you this 10 seconds video <laughs> clip <laughs> that for me, what means transitions in terms of uh, for energy and climate change. Thank you very much.